So good afternoon viewers. Today we have a 2011 Ford Fusion Hybrid. It's uh, here because of a bunch of warning lights on. We got TPMS light, traction control, stability control, brake warning light, ABS light. And I'm going to put it in, in drive. The brake pedal feels a bit spongy. check brake system. So let's put the scanner on it and see what codes it has to offer. It was here back in October of last year and I fixed a left rear speed sensor wire. But it's auto shut off now. It's in EV mode. So let's put the scanner on this thing. So we're going to load the vehicle record should auto ID it's got 216,000 kilometers on it let's do a code scan of all the controllers and see what it has to be what it has to report evap system pressure test failure well, that might turn on the check engine light. Motor electronics over temperature, not current. Invalid data received from brakes control module A, current. Brake booster performance, commanded position not reachable. That's an interesting code. ABS pump motor control actuator stuck, not current. TCS control channel A valve internal electronic failure, not current. TCS control channel A valve internal electronic failure current DTC warning light on internal electronic failure current brake booster solenoid current circuit current out of range current brake booster solenoid internal electronic failure current DTC warning light on wonderful valid data received from compass Okay, these are all secondary issues. Tire pressure sensor faults. So let's go into the ABS system. Switch the ignition off, it says. Let's clear the codes. And see what comes back. Let's rescan it for codes. Hmm. A little less, but still. Okay, I'm going to note these codes. So I'm going to have a look in Snap-on's troubleshooter for these codes. C zero C C triple zero two C. There is no C triple zero. C zero zero two two. The none of those codes are listed because they likely apply to the fact that this is a hybrid. And U three thousand. U two U one, but no U three. So we'll have to look it up in the service literature instead. So here's one case on Identifix for the C0002-49 and the U3000-49, which I have. And the suggested fix is the ABS control module itself. Let's check the other codes. 22C0022. C triple zero one, it's twenty two forty nine. Right, codes return. Each of these codes would suggest the ABS module has internally failed. For testing purposes, perform par and ground testing of the ABS module. Look for any potential sources. Oh boy. 
I wonder where that ABS module lives. Electrical interference such as add-on entertainment system equipment. Well, it's not an electrical interference. The car's not even running and it sets the code. Related documents, ABS module, ground wiring, power supply wiring, ABS module connector view. Let's look at this C002249 code. Go to pinpoint test P. Let me do some reading here. So basically the C0022-49 is a brake booster solenoid internal electronic fault. Detects a short to ground on either electric circuit. The solenoid or the ABS module is faulty. The solenoid comes with the ABS module. And the C0002, I didn't look up that one. I'm going to look that one up now. So here are the steps related to the C0002-49 and the U3000-49. Both of these codes are for an internal fault in the ABS module and will need to be replaced. The module does need to be programmed and the multi-calibration routine will need to be performed. I would be very surprised if this module is even available. Hmm. So you don't you just love this type of troubleshooting chart? So it says this indicates that part of the ABS module has failed internally. Clear the DTCs, repeat the self-test. If the DTC returns, install a new ABS module. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Well, let's check with the dealer. So the ABS hydraulic unit lives back there and the module is bolted onto the right side of it, passenger side of it. I don't know if you can get that module off in the vehicle, maybe. But it's kind of irrelevant because the part is discontinued, it's no longer available. And I don't know what the ramifications are of installing a used one, if you could even install a used one. I don't know if it can be reflashed to this. It might end up with VIN mismatch codes. And it's got an electrical fault with the solenoids inside the module, but I don't know why that would affect the hydraulics application of the brake. So I'm gonna to have to discuss this with the customer.